G'day class users. My name is Chris from the NACLAC class help desk team and today we're going to look at the new intake workflow that we've created for you. It's a five step process and first I'll walk you through what the five steps are and then we'll head into class and actually have a look at how it works in real life. So step one's the basic intake page and here you can just get a sketch of what's going on. You can put in name and address and information related to a service. Now the intake page is also all that you need to put in information and referrals. But if it's more complex service than that, such as an advice or a case, which is of course now called uh, one of the representation services, you'd want to step up into additional parties, step two, and this is where we can add them. And first conflict check these folks because if they're a conflict, then you can't proceed. But if it's all good, we can go back to the client or potential client and then head into conflict check them thoroughly. And again, if everything's good, we can proceed to step four, which is where we deal with all the client details. And of course, the options for this is a new client where you'd have to fill in all the details or you would be appending stuff to an existing client. And of course, there you check to make sure things are up to date. And then finally, once that's done, we head to step five, which is where we deal with the service details. Okay, let's go into class and actually take a look at what's happening. So here we are in class. And when we log in, we first arrive at the message board. And where we want to go to is by selecting the main menu item of class, which is where we deal with services for individuals. And then we want to select the new intake button. And here we are on intake step one. So I'll walk you through a couple of these essential fields. Uh, the first one is pink and so it must be important. And this is where we select our service type. We can see informations and referrals at the top, probably because they're the most used for many of you. And the other thing is you can use triage if you don't know what service it is yet. And that essentially parks it. I'll have another video explaining triage in more detail. But whichever of these you choose, you'll find that the fields may change depending on which service it is to make it relevant. We'll choose legal advice for our example now. You can see we've got a date of service, which is today. So you can backdate them if you need to. Uh, we need to choose this uh, compulsory funding category. So I'll just select one. And now we can zip through. Obviously, you can look at the field title and decide whether that is appropriate to your situation or if you know the details uh, at this point in time. You may want to take down intake notes, um, etc. And that will be dragged across to step five. Now over here, we've got information relating to the potential clients because they are only a potential client at this stage's name and address details. Let's put in a test person, test and Smith. And here we've got other information that you'll be able to find more details of, such as where you're looking at the client videos and things. We could select a date of birth or a mobile phone, etc. cetera. Uh, and we can put in a suburb or city, etc. And these things would drag across to the client window. This is not the only time you fill this information in. Anything you don't put in all the more details, once you say you know you have a client, you can go to and put in all the information that you haven't yet in step four, which is the client screen. Down here, we've also got the referral details, which uh, can be relevant to all services, but particularly information and referrals, obviously. So this page allows you to just save an information or a service using this button, uh, or we can continue on and do our conflict checks. We now march through to step two, add additional parties. Now this will say new party, and don't worry if you don't see all these buttons in your example, because some of these are administrative buttons only. But essentially there'll be the intake step three, and that would you would use if you don't have any additional parties or don't know enough information. And here will be new party. So we'll click that. So firstly, we need to select the type, which is other party or related party. For now, we'll just say there's another party. Uh, this person is an individual and we'll say, this is nasty person, the other party. All the other fields, again, you should be reasonably familiar with, or you'll be able to look at the client video and check out in more detail. And we can, from here, just save them, or you could save a new, which is very useful if you've, say, got a bunch of related parties, like, say, five children. You can just quickly wh whack all the children in once by just going save a new, save a new, save a new. But uh, as the other party, we're going to save them. 
Now the system's telling us it's saved successfully, so we can close out of there. And here we have this person listed, and from here we can conflict check them, and obviously that's advisable to do so. I will have another video for how to do those conflict checks in detail from here. Needless to say, the two options essentially are you could mark them as a conflict found, and that would immediately take you back to step one. Because you've got a conflict, you can only proceed as an information and referral to that no longer a potential client. But we can assume here we've got no conflict, we can then proceed to intake step three. And here we land on the conflict search and sort screen where it is actually taken our first and last name across and any of the other information that you put in would have been across here. If you're not familiar with this system, it's the search and sort mechanism. Uh, there'll be another video detailing that as I've mentioned. Above the line is searching, so that frames what you're dealing with and then below is kind of your filtering or managing a bit more detail. So let's hit load or it may also say search and it's given us a couple of examples to see, uh, particularly anyone who's named Smith. We've loaded that and we could choose to filter it by just a particular name. Let's do that. And we can see we've only got a couple of Bob Smiths in there, but that's not really our person. So we can see that it doesn't appear to be a conflict in this case. So we probably can proceed. Now the options we have are, again, conflict found, that will take you back to step one and only allow you an information or referral. Or you can do a new client or an existing client. Now if it's a new client, no problem, we can proceed. If it's an existing client, someone who we've found in here, we tick the box. That's how we go and do it uh, because that means it's selecting that person to go and append any further service and client information to. But in our example, we're going to go to a new client and here it goes. So now we can see we've got a new client. We're in step four. We've got some things there we need to fill out. You probably now want to put in all that more information, uh, including all the details of the name and suburb and such things as that. And again, though, it'll drag all those things across to step four that we did from the front window. And now we can be happy with all that. We can go to intake step five. And in that process, it saved our person, our client. And finally, we're on intake step five and it's telling us that we've got this service. So we wanna click through and do all the final things relating to that. And we'll be able to find under this tab actions that our note will be saved across there. But there may be some final things before we can save that we'll need to fill out before we can do our final save. Um, things like the financial disadvantage indicators and all those kinds of things that are compulsory for class now. And that's how it goes. And I hope this video has been useful to you.